Brachytherapy is a type of internal radiation treatment where we place radioactive sources inside the cancer. So unlike radiotherapy from the outside or external beam radiotherapy, um, the radiotherapy um, moves from the inside of the tumour to the outside of the tumour and that allows us to give a very high dose of radiotherapy over a very short distance, treating the cancer but sparing the surrounding normal tissue. It can either be um, a permanent or a temporary implant. Permanent implants, for example, most commonly used in prostate brachytherapy. Temporary implants, most commonly used perhaps in gynaecological cancers. So brachytherapy can be used to treat gynaecological cancers, in particular cervix cancer, endometrial cancer, vulval or vaginal cancer, most commonly cervix. It can, can be used to treat prostate cancer and those are the commonest areas that it's used to treat. But in addition, uh, increasingly we use to treat uh, breast cancer, uh, rectal cancer, anal cancer, esophageal cancer, head and neck cancer, skin cancers, and sometimes some cancers around the eye as well. The advantages of having brachytherapy is it's often done in a relatively short period of time. Um, it can often be targeted to the cancer, so therefore we can get a high dose of radiotherapy to the actual cancer, and it often means that we can limit the dose to surrounding structures compared to, say, external beam radiotherapy. The toxicity with, radi with brachytherapy is often less compared to external beam radiotherapy or compared to surgery, which may be the other alternatives in terms of treatment. I think one of the disadvantages for patients is that they don't understand brachytherapy, so many patients are actually uh, somewhat apprehensive or scared of the treatment. When they actually have the treatment, they realise that it's not a difficult treatment, it's less difficult than many other treatments. Um, but I think that is a difficulty because it's overcoming that fear and apprehension of patients. So if a patient wants to find out more about brachytherapy, I would suggest that they need to talk to their oncologist, their treating oncologist, and find out if brachytherapy is uh, an option in their treatment, either in combination with another treatment, such as surgery or more commonly external beam radiotherapy, or as an alternative treatment. Quite often, unfortunately, brachytherapy might not be appropriate for that patient, but at least if they ask the question, that could be something that the clinician they're treating could consider, uh, and again, may want to discuss with their colleagues to see whether it is appropriate.